I've tried, uh, you know, the silly things, running, uh, making a copper spool, running the water through it, putting it in the grill, running the grill for hours, trying to eat the water, putting it in the fire. You know, none of that stuff worked. The, the solar heaters work great. <laughs> Hey all, I mentioned in my other video where I was kind of showing the, my pool pump and filter setup, I mentioned that maybe I'll talk about the heater setup that I put together. So that's the next thing, I'm gonna do that right now. So, so I do have a, uh, a heater, a solar heater setup. It's up on the roof, uh, so I have tried I've tried, uh, you know, making the copper coil, um, putting it in the, putting it in the grill, heating it up. I put that copper coil in the fire pit. Like I spent like a whole Saturday tending to that fire to try to heat up the pool. All that stuff was was garbage. But what I have set up here actually works. So I just want to show you the solar setup. Uh, so first of all what it is and don't mind the, You know jinky setup, but if you want to make your own jinky setup You can so this is this is what's up on the roof So that's two uh, standard solar heater panels um, And so this is how I have it plumbed look around this side so it's just the hose coming into the end of that with a couple reducers and adapters so the water flows up through the hoses comes back returns out of this PVC line and then it drops back into the pool so you know these solar heaters are made for much bigger pools so just two of them up there works great for us uh, but so let me let me show you the difference All right, so right now it's it's uh, March and our water is very cold. So it is Let me get this in. I got this couple different thermometers So it's about 70 degrees the water so it's about noon right now the Sun is right up right up above us uh, so I shut it off for a couple minutes. If I just shut it off for a couple of minutes, I can get that water to come out like steaming hot, like ridiculously hot. Let me go grab that digital thermometer and I will show you. Save the bees. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna save you from the water. Hopefully you can dry out and fly away here. All right, so how I turn the flow on to the heaters that are up on the roof is just right here at the bottom I put it on the drain of the uh, the filter housing so you turn it on full flow the water just travels through the hose I have it buried right here but then it goes up the side of the wall up to the roof through the heaters and returns back here so, let's see, it's been off for, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes, something like that. And if I give it a few seconds, for my, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see how hot the water is that we're getting out of here. Collect the water up. Grab our digital thermometer here. Okay, there we go. Quite the difference. Yeah, it really is 120 degrees. That that is hot. Very hot water coming out of there like I say pretty much at any point in time 
if I slow this down enough or just stop it for a few minutes, it can literally make the water come out hot enough to burn you. So that's at full flow at the moment. It's still coming out really hot. So yeah, basically that's it. So it's, um, here I have one gallon marked on this bucket. So at full flow, if we count, let's see, 3, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Where's the problem there? So from, it took about 25, almost 30 seconds to hit the one gallon so we're talking you know two gallons a minute so 120 gallons an hour and so if we wanted to do it would take about 10 hours to run 1200 gallons this pool is approximately 6500 so see five times 1200 would be 6,000. So 10, 50, 50 hours, yeah, about a week. We were running this about a week, but that's only, um, you know, that's 40 some hours. You really only get maybe five hours of sunshine. So you're talking like 10, 10, 12, 14 days of running the heater to actually heat it up. But you know, this is so right. So now it's starting to get a little more back to normal. So here's our digital thermometer again. Water's about 70. My pocket's floating away. All right, so dump that out. Put that in there. And here we go. It's about 90, 92 degrees. You get about a 20 degree difference running it at straight up you know practically noon um but nor sometimes a day it's only 10 degree difference but the point is 70 degree water we don't we don't want to swim in that that's just too darn cold uh, but if we can get the water up to 80 or so you know that's fine that's swimmable so there you go. I know this is not a very good video. I'm probably moving all around, but I just wanted to show you this little heater setup and that it does work. It is very functional, helpful. It, it extends our pool season by probably months. And it was pretty easy to do. So there we go again. We're getting. 89 90 yeah 20 degree difference that's it just want to show you that it's not an instructional video like showing you how to just showing you what i did and to give you some ideas if you're thinking about doing something similar you know you could take these and just lay them out in your yard uh you know and run the hose to them or you can make your own with a big spool of black hose, you know, black uh, water line, and just lay them out in the yard. As long as they get, that's all you need, just something black for the water to run through, laid out in the sun, uh, and it works great. All right, have a good one. Bye.